Guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's 3.30 slash 4 a.m. in the morning. Will and I are off on an adventure. Oh, yeah. I've got no idea where we're going. It's a it's a birthday adventure. Goes back to 28th of July, my birthday. I will surprise me with this mad trip. We're going to France. Wow. We're going over on the ferry. But other than that, I've got no other details. So this trip's gonna be about finding out where we're going and going to have the best time possible. This morning's already started with a bit of a palaver. A bit will. Of a typical Will type vibe. Standard Will forgot his, or say forgot, he lost his wallet and couldn't find his keys. Turns out he left them in the car overnight. Oops, won't be doing that again. Anyway guys, let's head over to France. Let's go on this adventure. See you when we get there. Right then, gang, we've had the call. The ferry people have asked us to get back in our cars, which means we're in Calais, which also means that we can continue the adventure to France. Well, we're in France. We can continue the adventure to intended location. I'm gonna have to find out between now and said location, otherwise, well, I'll know where we are when we get there. So, I'm a little bit bunged up, if I'm honest. I feel rough rough as old houses. I did have some first defence earlier and then I text Holly saying, oh you'd be proud of me, I had some first defence. She said, Joe, you have that before you've started a cold or you've started showing signs. Um, so that was a waste of time, but I did look at the bottle and it actually ran out in 2016. I don't know if you can see, probably not, hang on. Yeah, not great, not great at all guys. We're off, these guys are going. These punks! Cheers for popping in. William, when do you want to tell me about where we're going then? Um, now. Now? <laughs> Birthday adventure, I knew about this about two months ago. Decided to wait until the day to find out where we're going. Like I said, I've seen a couple of, uh, I've seen a couple of signs, Will. Um, <laughs> make sure I'm not too zoomed in. I've seen a few different signs. I'm thinking I'm not sure, you know. So guys, what we've been doing, so what we've said to date is, so Joe knows where we're staying because I found the most amazing Airbnb, lovely little four bed house. Um, which we've got to ourselves and it looks amazing, so I can't wait to get there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna stay at this place and then we've got a 15 minute train journey yeah. into what we've called the intended location thus far. Um, intended so location. So would you, would you like me to tell you where we're going, Joe? Hang on. <laughs> I was so excited! <laughs> <laughs> this is genuine. Go on then, Will. Right, so for the next 48 hours, Yes, sir. we've got to pack in as much crazy fun times as possible yeah, in go on. Paris. Yes! <laughs> Woo I can do it! I'm I glad can't you wait. do it! I'm literally so excited. This is going to be so sick. I've literally... I've oh. never been, no. so this is going to be fun for me. This is so exciting. But yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> and hence... Look, 243 kilometres away from Paris. <laughs> that is so classic. Oh. I'm so, yeah, so... We've, got to, we've got to get to Grosley, which yes. is the place where our Airbnb is. So that's, we've got another two hours and three minutes exactly to drive there. Um, thereafter, we're just literally going to hopefully dump our bags. We're going to do that and then, it, the, so we, basically our Airbnb is not that far from the train station. 15 minutes in and we're directly in the heart of Paris. This so, yeah. is incredibly <laughs> exciting. So we're going to Paris, I didn't know that. 24, uh, 48 hours in Paris. Oh. So excited, so we're gonna go Grosley, some place called Grosley. I'm sure there's a much more French way of pronouncing that. So now we've got to start looking at what we can do in Paris, but there's loads yeah. to do. It's the most amazing, I amazing really... city. Oh. Let's do this, bring it on. So we just filled up our, with the gas, at the gas station. Filled up, it was 43 quid in the end, not too shabbly. But we've got a full tank, 210 kilometers to go. Um, so what I'm gonna do is give you a little time lapse. That'll take you to Grosley. 
give you a little tour when we get to the apartment slash four bed house. Bye bye. Stay at this windscreen. So despite the fact that we haven't been able to see the whole journey based on the state of the windscreen, we have arrived at destination number one being Grosley. So we have decided that today we're going to stay and chill in Grosley at the um, at the house, which we're about to get to in approximately one minute. Tomorrow we're going to spend the full day in Paris, so we'll get up nice and early. <laughs> it's like I'm learning to drive all over again. I'm bloody it's terrible fantastic. in this country. So yes, we're going to spend the whole day in Paris. It's going to be so fun, so sick. I'll show you around the house when we arrive. So guys, we've just arrived at the Airbnb. I'm so excited to share with you this. I've just been inside to have a look. Wow, it is insane. So it's a real old school kind of building, but it's been converted into like super modern um, inside. It's immense. Come and have a look. So this is the outside. So cool. Double doors, just here, and then this is the front door. Let's go in. Ooh. So, first impressions you walk in, you got a lovely little spiral staircase just there. Hi, Will! Hi, mate. And then you got Le Petit Cain, which is a toilet. Ooh. And then, what's that? Oh, baby. I don't know. Some sort of wash machine in there. And we've got um, TV. Ooh. We have got a wood burner or a log burner. Um, kitchen just here, which is lovely. Little dining area. Will's just chilling. Oh, yeah. In the lounge, all sweet. So come on guys, let's go upstairs and check out what's going on up there. So it's not actually a four bed house, it sleeps four people. Um, so I'll show you this room first, it's like the spare room. This is, my, this is my abode for the evening. So you go through, it's like a sofa bed situation. Um, and then shower. Going back through now into the main room, which is where we'll be sleeping for the evening. Or me, maybe. We'll maybe flip a coin. Rock, paper, scissors. Got a little desk. We've got some nice bit of art on the work, on the walls. Enjoy the little things. Hell yes. Big fan of that. Lovely little light fittings. Here he is. Um, honestly, guys, this this is amazing. What a way to spend a weekend. So cool. But it's just like the. <laughs> hey, Will. I was wondering if you're going to this. The decor is so nice. Like. The, the lights hanging down from the ceiling. Oh, you've got the cool artwork. It's just like the little touches. Obviously this is like an Ikea wardrobe. And then this is the coolest bathroom ever. So, nice little sink, looks quite classical. It's all very modern and new. Uh, we've got some nice little coat hangers there. Got a little cool table, radiator. Look at that bath. Look at that bath. Look at, look at that bath, na na. And then, Lovely views just out the window. Beautiful. Love this place. Can't wait to spend the night here. I think in a sec we'll probably go to the supermarket, get some supplies, come back, maybe make make some dinner or something. Not that I've just had loads of food in the car. It was oh, horrendous. It and go from there. Love it guys! Love this! What a lovely way to spend at a belated birthday. I'm gonna go and drink my coffee. Beautiful! <laughs>
today. There you have it guys, the most beautiful Airbnb I've ever stayed in. I've only stayed in two and the other one was also pretty lush, but it's insane. Tonight we're going to cook a little bit of pasta, which we've got on the go, chill out for the rest of the evening and then tomorrow morning wake up nice and early and head into the beautiful city that is Paris. Very much looking forward to it. It's very exciting. Last minute adventure. Wow. See you guys in the morning. Morning guys, welcome back to day two in France. So what we're doing now, I think we're catching, I don't know why I'm looking at my wrist, I've got no watch on. I think we're catching the 10 minute past eight train into Paris, it takes 15 minutes to get there. So we're gonna do that. I've got a couple of surprises in store for you guys later on. Very excited to crack on with the day. Let's do this. Oh, hang on, hang on a second. Just before we go, I thought it'd be funny to bring something British with me. So I've got some ambrosia custard. Gonna put it in one of our drawers, the lady at the Airbnb, so she can enjoy a bit of British culture. In fact, I'll put it up here. Love that so much. God, I'm a bit odd, I'm not gonna lie. Just thought it'd make me, just thought it'd be funny. Let's go into Paris, come on guys. First little boo-boo of the day. I thought I could read French, so subsequently bought two tickets, thinking I was buying two return tickets. Instead, I bought four tickets from Grosley to Paris. <laughs> Need to get that French book out, I think. But yeah, two tickets to Paris. Two B B A or billet B A B A. Oh, yeah. classic. We're in Paris, guys. This is so exciting. Buildings are amazing. Will's loving life. Oh, it's lovely. We decided to hop on some of these Lime scooters, which are, um, they're electric scooters that you hop on. It's similar to the barrel bikes. You just get like 10 minutes and you can just sort of, just go for it basically. So we're gonna go and find some of them and then see what happens. Oh, I found one. Let's get on it. These scooters have got to be the best way ever to get around Paris. They're so sick. We're doing like 20 kilometers an hour. It's insane. But just a quick check-in when in Paris because Will and I have just had our first sighting of the Eiffel Tower or the Tower de Eiffel. Um, so down the road to my right or to your left is the, um, I think it's called the Arc de Triomphe. It's the big sort of stone structure in the middle of a roundabout. Um, there's so much police around. I don't know if we're allowed to, to like scoot on the pavement or if we have to do it on the roads. So we're doing a bit of both just to like make sure that we've ticked all of the boxes, just to make sure something that we've done is marginally illegal. But um, this is amazing. What a great place. And also because we got here so early, the roads are relatively quiet. So plan is get around Paris on these bad boys this morning. And then later on, as it gets busier, we're gonna ditch these and then we're gonna go by foot, which is much more sensible, I think. So anyway, here is the Eiffel Tower. Well, the tip. And that's where we're going now. See you there, guys. Eh, nous arrivons au Eiffel Tower avec mon copain, William St. James. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. C'est ça. So on the agenda today was to go up the Eiffel Tower, but that's the queue. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Looks better from the bottom, <laughs> but I do know a little place called Montparnasse Tower. And if we go up Montparnasse Tower, we can see the Eiffel Tower and the rest of Paris from real high up and it looks so sick. Well, do you want to do that? Yes. Okay, we'll do that. I'll put that in Google Maps. Lego. So that's where we're going to park our scooters. And now we're going on foot. We've been, we've been scooting around for an hour, carrying on by foot. 
to get to Montparnasse Tower, our next location in Paris. Look at this, look at these buildings and... I'm in. No, you've got to do it on the Eiffel Tower, Joe. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Currently doing it on top of the lamppost. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, you are. Just scaled the largest building in Paris, which is Montparnasse. The views are insane when you get to the top. What we're doing now is going to a rooftop terrace, and we'll be able to see all around the building. Oh, I'm very excited to share this with you guys, and I think Will's a bit excited now as well. I'm still really nervous. It's all right, you got this, bro. Let's have a look. Welcome to the rooftop bar that is Montparnasse in Paris. It's literally crazy. There's views all around Paris. It's a bit windy, so apologies if you can't actually hear what I'm saying. But it's insane. You can see everything. This is what makes this trip so incredible. And I'm glad we did it as well, because not one for lifts, but nailed it, honestly nailed it. So I think the plan's gonna chill up here for a good, I reckon, half an hour or so, maybe an hour. There's a cafe downstairs, we're gonna have a coffee. Just enjoy the views. It's kind of breathtaking, and I don't really wanna talk, I just wanna sit and, or just stand and just enjoy what's going on. It's amazing. Also, seeing it took about half an hour to speak. <laughs> last place that we would like to go before heading back home which is Le Louvre Museum but we're not going to go inside just want to have a look outside because it's so nice but um, just taking in the sights of Paris it's beautiful look everywhere you go there's just the most amazing architecture and buildings and bridges and it's lush big recommendation from me and I'm sure William would also recommend how uh, are we but yes it is definitely like a, a French London. Just going over one of the bridges now and you can sort of see a very London-esque vibe to the place. Paris is a beautiful country. Yeah, lovely little trip. <laughs> Paris is a beautiful country. Yeah, that works. So guys, just before we go home for the for the little whistle stop tour, the little 48 hour stint in Paris, we thought we'd come and see Le Louvre. We all know that the, um, the famous Mona Lisa painting is inside. So we're not gonna actually gonna go in um, we're not going to go in today, because uh, I've been in before, but we thought we'd just come here and look at what's going on outside. So there's loads, there's absolutely loads. The architecture here is amazing. You can probably hear in the background there's a fountain. I'm surrounded by fountains. But yeah, 48 hours in Paris. It's been incredible. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog, guys. If you have, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.